show you what is bug face coding in Blender. Essentially, bug face coding is a way to hide all the bug faces of a mesh while the front of the mesh remains visible. This feature can be used in 3D viewport for when you are working with your objects but can also be enabled for material in its material settings such as such that it is applied for a material view and final render. Let's see how do we enable or disable backface coding. To tackle backface coding on or and off, head to the viewport shading drop down in the top right header in 3D viewport under options like this. Go over here to the bottom options. Enable bug face coding by checking the box like this. How do we change a front or bug face for bug face coding? It is also possible to manually change which polygons Blender considers to be a front or bug face so you can decide which faces are visible and which aren't when bug face coding is enabled. To do this, select the viewport overlays, go over here. Then go search for the face orientation. It's over there. From the menu to enable it, let's enable it like this. Now we all all the front sides will be colored below as shown in our tutorial, whereas the back sides of all faces will be colored in a red color. Let's delete for example this vertex and you can see over here. You are not seeing any red faces from any angle what's over you most likely already have back face coding enabled so they are already being hidden for example as you can see in our tutorial we have added this sphere to the scene and this plane in this case we may want to edit the bottom of this UV sphere, but clearly the plane would then be in the way while we could switch off the visibility of the plane of switch to X-ray or wireframe mode. This might become very repetitive to toggle if you need to do it or on many different occasions. In this case, it's helpful to use back face cooling such that the plane is visible whenever you can go over there and enable back face cooling. Go back. We view it from the top but becomes transparent whenever we have to view it from underneath to edit the bottom of another object. For example, let's tap into edit mode. Just like this, for example, let's try to edit some vertices over there, move them like this. And when you try to select, you can't select the vertices of the CV sphere just to select the vertices of this plane. Similarly, you may want to create one mesh inside of the other without the other coming in the way. In this case, again, using backface cooling can significantly speed up your workflow. And that's it for this tutorial.